I'm here at Lucide Airport standing next to the Dassault 7X, but as you can see, it is a smaller version, a one-seventh model version to be exact. We're going to talk a little bit about the aircraft, its designer, and also uh, the pilot. Uh, joining me now is uh, Eric Rante. Uh, Eric uh, is the pilot uh, with Aviation Design, and uh, Eric, uh, uh, first tell us a little bit about uh, how this aircraft uh, came into being. Yeah, so this aircraft was designed and built mainly by Francis Lawrence. Francis is a retired mechanician from Dassault Aviation. He was working at Easter uh, in the test center and he has begun his model about uh, five years ago. He makes everything himself and uh, he was mainly designed to be exposed at the, the factory in St. Cloud uh, as a mock-up. Uh, after we decide to make a mold of this plane and why to don't fly it? Because Francis is also a radio control pilot and builder. So he said, okay, we, we will try to, to fly it. Now, the, the, the tail on this is just amazing. Uh, it, and and it, it's actually an aircraft, too. It's not a model. Many of us uh, in America may call these models, and yeah. we're familiar with the small ones that buzz around, but this is an actual aircraft. It's, yeah, it's the exact scale, uh, one-seventh scale of the rear airplane. Um, we, Francis has done it with the Katia drawing. So the full-size drawing of the airplane, it's exactly like the same as the real one, except the wing section and the, the, all the airfoil sections. And it requires a special certification to be allowed to fly? In. Yes, we have a special authorization from the French government, the Aviation Civile, uh, which uh, allows the plane and the pilot to control this uh, airplane in front of people uh, for security reasons. So we have some special security system in this plane to be safe enough to fly it in front of people. Hmm. Now, some of the uh, the characteristics of the aircraft, uh, are, are they exactly the same as the full-size model, or if things had to be changed down for scale? Exactly the same, except the wing section. Wing section is a typically model airplane wing section, because the rear airplane use a critical airfoil, uh, which cannot be used easily in model airplane. It can be used, but the landing speed and takeoff speed will be too higher. So we, we decide to use a more conventional airfoil. The, also, the wing area is a little bit increased because it, was, it looks a little too small to, to, to fly it safely. Yeah. Now, the flying part itself, uh, you're holding uh, the, the controller and, and the controller. I, I, is, it, is it a difficult uh, aircraft uh, it to fly? fly exactly like a normal model airplane, a small model airplane. It's a little more difficult than standard model airplane, but it is very similar than a jet model airplane, and now jets are very popular in, uh, in world, worldwide, uh, so it flies exactly like uh, a jet, so like a Rafale or Mirage uh, airplane. This isn't like my, my Game Boy though, it's uh, a little it's more a little, little, It's a little <laughs> bit the same, uh, you've, you've got the elevator, the aileron, the rotor and the throttle. It's mainly the main, uh, main parts, after you have some switch for retractor, uh, retractable landing gear, uh, light uh, and so on, uh, engines uh, shut off and so on. But mainly, it's like a Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in addition to, to flying aircraft like this, you are also a pilot. Uh, are, are there things you learn or can learn from flying a, a, a smaller version? Yeah, it looks it, it is very, very similar. I am also a private pilot, and, and it's very similar. You have some same feeling, like, uh, like the, uh, the real one. This one is not exactly the same. As I said, we, we change some wing section. Also, the um, inertia of the airplane is not the same as the real airplane. So it's not, you have not the same sensation as, as, as the real one. Also, the real one is uh, controlled by computer, fly-by-wire uh, control. This one is just direct control. You, you fly it manually. But on other application, we're also working with the so for UK program. And when you fly it manually, you, you can give some feedback to the engineer to, to, to explain your sensation. It's very similar as, as a real airplane. It's the same aerodynamic low than a real airplane, so you just have the same sensation. Just small. It's right? stalling like a real airplane, <laughs> and uh, it's exactly the same as a, as a full size. Mm. Well, AIN doesn't pay me quite enough to afford a, a real full size 7X. Uh, how much would one of uh, these models cost? This one is approximately, we, actually, our company produces a kit of this airplane. A full kit costs about 10,000 euros on a full model ready to fly, like this one is about 15,000 euros. So if you want your own uh, Dassault 7X uh, to fly uh, out you, from your, you your local your airport. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Eric, thank you so much for joining <laughs> thank us. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you. And thank you for watching AIN TV. We'll be back with much more.